Hi guys, I'm back. So, like I was telling you, I'm going to be making several videos because I got really inspired lately and there are several things that I want to talk about. Some of you may have noticed that I'm offering coaching sessions and I'm offering guidance sessions. Um, now those are, it's the same thing, there's just a lot of different words that you can use to describe it, right? So spiritual coaching is one of the main ways that you can use to describe it, but um, the point is the sessions that I'm offering start with you where you are on your path now and really address your specific needs. So that's why I'm leaving it open to be called so many different things, mystic counsel, guidance sessions, advising sessions, spiritual coaching, um, because it's really about what you need at this moment. Some of the things that I can help you with in a coaching session is to show you how the universe is speaking to you. I can assist you with deciphering the signs and the omens that the universe is sending you on a daily basis and the symbols and messages that you're receiving, whether that's in your dreams or in your daily life. And what I'm talking about here is really assisting you with translating spiritual language because spirit or source or the universe or your spirit guides, your guardian angels, however you want to look at it, um, whatever may be going on there, they speak to us through symbols. They speak to us through a language of symbols and signs, whether that's in nature, um, whether it's in, you know, on billboards and license plates, whether it's in our dreams, whether it's in songs that we hear on the radio, that's how they speak to us. And one of the things that I am really good at is helping you decipher those signs, helping you interpret that language and figure out what you're being told, what your guides or what the universe is communicating to you about your path. Another thing that I can, that I'm good at and that I can do is help to show you how your challenges are helping you and your obstacles are changing you and really offering you an alternate spiritual perspective about where you are on your path and how you're learning and growing and where it can take you, what the potential is for where it can take you. I really, it's important to me to, to assist people with getting in tune with their own intuition and their own psychic abilities because this these abilities these spiritual gifts are innate in all of us it's a natural part of ourselves there's no such thing as supernatural humans are part of nature we are supernatural because there's no such thing as anything that is outside of us we are connected so we we are magic we are psychic we are spiritually connected, and if you're not feeling that way, if you're not feeling in touch with your intuition, if you don't know how to get in touch with your psychic abilities, if you're feeling blocked, then that is what I would love to help you with because as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm here to help us spiritually evolve, and this is one way to spiritually evolve. I'm. This is something that's really important to me. It's something that's really near and dear to my heart and I would definitely love to help you progress. It, I get great satisfaction out of the work that I do. I get great satisfaction out of assisting individuals with in tuning, tuning into those abilities that they have, helping them identify what their specific abilities are, helping them identify what is holding them back from getting in touch with their intuition helping them to identify how exactly their psychic abilities work within them, within their lives, and within their bodies, and then providing concrete, everyday actions and activities which are practical and accessible that they can start working on immediately that will help them progress and develop and evolve. So, Offering you a pers different perspective about where you are on your spiritual path is really going to allow you to take advantage of your experiences 
in a different way and allow you to take advantage of the current energy surrounding your life in a way which gives you more power. I don't want to say more control because I think that people get really hung up on thinking that spiritual practice or practicing magic is about control. And I think that we really have to start recognizing that we're not in control no matter what. No matter how skilled I am at the work that I do, um, no matter how skilled I am in my readings, no matter how skilled I am at practicing magic, I don't control life. There's always going to be things and people outside of me that I do not control. And that's not what I'm here for. That's not what you're here for. This isn't about gaining that kind of control. We're not going to control the cosmos. We're not going to control the events of our life. What we can gain power over is how we react to things, the mechanisms in our mind, how our mind functions how we react to things and events, and how we react to other people. And if you have any kind of control issues, I'll tell you right now that that's true control. But I would like to avoid that word. It's true power. It, that's, that's true power. That's true magic, is being in tune with those things and being able to master those things. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about that stuff so far? So the reason that I'm offering more guidance and the reason that I'm offering more advising and spiritual coaching is because I'm transi transitioning from doing things for you to assisting you with doing things for yourself. Because as I just said, true magic is having control over the functions of your own mind and having the power to be aware of how you react to outside events. The only thing that we can have control over is ourselves. And that's true power is knowing that that's the only thing that we can control. Truly practicing magic all comes down to your mind. You don't need any tools. You don't need candles. You don't need anything outside of yourself. It comes down to the way that you use your mind. So I am getting down to the root. I'm getting down to the foundation of things. And that is one of the reasons that I am offering coaching and advising is because I want to help you learn to do things for yourself. I want to help you master your own life. I want to help you get in tune with your own power. And I want to really show you how this can work for you, regardless of the spiritual path that you're on, regardless of the um, belief system that you have regardless if you practice magic or not if you're a spiritual person and you're regardless of anywhere that you are on on that path if you're a spiritual person and you seek to practice magic or gain power or be in tune be be whole within yourself be more in alignment with the universe be more free flowing with the patterns of your life in a way that doesn't feel like a struggle, in a way that, <clears throat> that doesn't feel like you're fighting against a giant wave of anxiety every day. Those are the kinds of things that I want to help you with and that I can help you with. And when I say that you don't need any tools for practicing magic, I can elaborate on that a little bit more. The outside tools are just representations of your inner intention and your willpower and your focus. I choose to use candles, I choose to use candle magic because I like the ritual and I like having the physical representation in my home. And when you see it, it helps reinforce your focus, it helps reinforce your intentions and it helps to, to reinforce that you are living a magical lifestyle and that's just a method that I prefer. It's a method that resonates with me. Um, you also can use the physical objects to send your energy into, which I do as well. It's a big part of magic, but, and that helps to kind of build the energy and expand upon things, but it's not necessary. You could just as easily 
you can put that energy anywhere. You can just send that energy out of your body and into the cosmos if you want to. You don't have to put it into a physical object. So I just wanted to elaborate a little bit on what I meant by you don't need any tools to practice magic. Um, it really truly comes down to your mental mechanisms, your focus, your mindset, and your willpower. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about any of that before I pop off and then pop back on for a minute because I have a couple of more topics that I would like to cover this evening. Get more candles, Chris. I see you. I see your comments. Get more candles. Don't get ones that are scented crazy though. They're really bad for you. <laughs> Anyone have any questions? Okay, hey, thanks everybody. I really appreciate you joining and watching. I'm gonna be on like two or three more times this evening talking about similar things and interrelated topics. So thanks so much, stay blessed.